the header is what we have at the top here. So over here you can say, okay, I don't want to show the menu. Then it can uh, be hidden. Or I don't want to uh, show the logo. Or if you want to uh, hide the whole header, you just turn it off here. And the whole thing is, is hidden. So same thing for the live bar. And each feature in the live bar will have their own settings, right? So attendee profile is pretty straightforward. So for things like chat, so you can actually change the text, the label here, uh, if you want to change it. The title is what appears inside the drawer here. So you can change this. And you can you can even customize the width of the panel for for the chat or for any of the of the other uh, features. Participants pretty much similar. You can actually have a little bit more um, settings here. You can enable bookmarking of attendees. So within the listing here, you can choose whether the, whether you want to show the profile, show their details, show the count of participants, schedule, which is the personal agenda. Um, has settings related to that. So whether, what are the words that you want to use for somebody to, when they are joining a session, so there is a button for them to join that session. So you can customize the button here. So whether it's attend, whether it's join. So pretty much all of the um, details can be, all of the details can be customized. This one is for private messages. So you can allow who can actually uh, private message who, right? Based on ticket type, maybe. So this can be done. Whether you want to allow them to see the viewer profile, attendee profile. And uh, Yep, we do have overall settings for the live bar here. So for example, here it can be left aligned. Then this will be moved to the left and then the drawer will be opening from the left.